Penguin, The Riddler, Bane, Joker, all awesome supervillains, except we've read their stories over and over. Sometimes to keep interest in your favorite superhero, you gotta dive a little bit deeper. It's time to go over one of my favorite new villains that almost nobody knows about. Why? Well, it's because he's brand new. Like, just came out three months ago brand new. Batman issue 92 introduced to us the Underbroker. Welcome to this video about unknown Batman villains. I hope you enjoy it. Please subscribe and like this video as well as look at my previous videos as I'm just getting this channel started. Hope you enjoy. Okay, I'll admit, his name isn't that cool, the Underbroker. It's a little bit corny, but what he is is actually really cool. But you need to understand a little bit about finance to appreciate who he is. So in the, world, in the world of finance, a broker is someone who, in essence, helps you manage and grow your wealth. If you have a lump sum of money, let's say $10,000, you can hire this broker, who is basically an expert in finance, to invest that money for you. Since you may not have time to do it yourself, you may have a full-time job, or you may not really have the expertise to know what to do with that money, so you hire a broker and he's going to invest it for you and make money for you. The underbroker, though, in Batman, does more than just invest. He literally is a central underground bank, which is awesome. And when I say that he is a central underground bank, I don't mean that he just owns a vault filled with cash, although he does have one of those. His resources extend all around the world with shell companies, overseas banks, real estate, and obviously cold hard cash too. The underbroker has a central headquarters in the sewers. Upon giving the right password underground, a door will open up revealing an underground bank. The crazy thing is, he is a complete ghost to anyone other than criminals. As of yet, Batman doesn't even know that he exists. The underbroker is so good at hiding his financial activities that he is off the map to any legal entity. So why would the underbroker help finance other criminals' activities? Well, commission of course. For example, if the Penguin needed a couple hundred thousand dollars to hire mercenaries and buy equipment to kill Batman, the Underbroker would lend the Penguin the money to do so, with expectations that he pays him back with interest. Those that don't pay him back risk their lives. Based off the conversations between Catwoman and the Underbroker in issue 92, you can tell that he's someone that people don't mess with. On top of just loaning money to criminals, he also acts as their central bank and financial advisor. No doubt, when criminals need to store money, it's through him. This way it's off the books. No records, no IRS to deal with. The underbroker is a money launderer. Ever heard of money laundering? It's a process of earning money through illegal means and then hiding it or disguising it to look legit for the IRS. It's something that modern politicians do by storing their wealth through offshore bank accounts or shell companies and some people like to call them. This ensures that the IRS doesn't have access to investigate how they obtain that money. The underbroker stores his clients money all over the world through various investments, real estate and bank accounts. His footprint is basically untraceable. This villain is such a big deal because it explains so many plot holes. Ever wonder how Riddler seemed to have the money to build crazy technology and hire so many goons? Well, the Underbroker loans him the money to do that. As to date, the Underbroker's largest crime was stealing Bruce Wayne's fortune. He did this by manipulating Catwoman into thinking that she was stealing the money for herself, but in reality, he took it for himself. He welcomed Catwoman into his underground bank and provided her with the technology to hack Wayne Enterprises. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Let me know in the comments if you can think of any other villain that you feel doesn't get their due attention that they deserve. This is Powell Theory signing off. Until next time guys, peace.